This is a video about Microsoft Excel 2010, uh, creating an equipment database. And this is part three. Uh, it is about uh, creating an equipment type table. This is the uh, spreadsheet we left off with in the last part. Uh, we had created a uh, linked uh, table linked to uh, an external file. Now we're going to uh, use some of that information, create another table. We will uh, insert another worksheet and then we're going to rename that as fixture schedule. And then I'm going to put that ahead of blank list. And here I'm going to uh, create a, uh, a table of um, equipment types. In this case, it will be fixtures. Let's start putting in some names for uh, fields in here. That will be uh, fixture code. We'll put in uh, fixture type. We're going to put in uh, fixture description. We'll put in um, a lamp code. We'll put in a lamp description. And finally, we're going to put in the number of lamps per fixture. And, um, set these uh, fields to wrap the text and I'm going to make them a little bigger columns okay so this is the uh, beginnings of the table now uh, these fields we're going to just highlight this a bit make it a little easier to look at And a fixture code, uh, this is something that commonly off construction drawings. Um, just going to put in here some uh, letters. Um, I have a little bit of sample data that I'm going to plug in there. For our fixture types, um, this is um, again something that um, we would uh, have variety. This is something for construction type of a thing. And so we'll put those in. Our fixture descriptions, uh, these are just uh, random descriptions, an example of, uh, of what might be done. And these are things that you'll, make, you'll just put in whatever is appropriate, take them off the drawings or assign these fixture codes, assign additional ones, but, but whatever. And again, this would be for an equipment thing. Now, when we get to lamp code, here's the place where we're going to be looking at that table uh, that we put in on that separate uh, worksheet. And what we want to do here is uh, get our lamp code from that worksheet. So the input that we do in this lamp code is going to be uh, we'll find on the data tab under data validation. We'll see that we have a uh, data validation that we can do, uh, and these different types. But in order to do this, we're going to want to refer to a um, particular section of that lamp list. I'm going to go to the lamp list, and I'm going to name this right here. And I'm going to select the column. And I'm going to go to formulas, define name, and define that as lamp code. Pick that up right from the uh, top of the column. And it shows the whole column, so C to C. And so we'll click OK. We're going to go back to the fixture schedule, and we're going to, in here, Go to data, data validation, and we're going to choose a list. And this will give us a list uh, from that uh, next uh, worksheet. So when we go to source, we'll click on here, and 
and we selected the top of the column and it gave us lamp code. So that was what we wanted for our source, so we'll go OK. Now, when we uh, click this arrow in here, we'll see that we have a list of lamp codes that we can choose from. So this is how we would uh, pick the particular one we're interested in. I'm just going to drag this field down here, and uh, that will copy that uh, data validation to each of those cells. Now I'm going to go in here and uh, I'm going to choose here uh, this lamp. So I'm going to go over to lamp description and this is something that we are going to pull from an uh, external file and this would be that lamp list. So in order to do this I'm going to open the lamp list and now that I um, opened that file I'm going to go and choose to display the two files together and um, here I'm going to go to this cell and uh, put the formula that we need there and again, this is a, um, it will have be a combination of a conditional statement and so we don't end up with error messages in the cell. And then we'll be uh, using a VLOOKUP function to uh, get a lamp description from the external file. So, we'll start out here with this conditional statement. And here we're going to take a look at the lamp code. And um, we're going to make sure that it's uh, not equal to uh, nothing, blank, or not blank, but nothing. And um, assuming that it's not, that there is a value in there, we're going to go the lookup. And then we want the uh, lookup value, and that value will be uh, that cell, the lamp code. And then we want to go to the file and we're going to select the three columns which we had previously named. And that name that they were named as shows up here as lamps. So that is. Uh, where, what our table array is. Now we want the column index number, okay, which is the uh, number of the column we're looking for in that table. And in this case, it'll be the uh, lamp description, so that'll be column two. And then finally, uh, we don't know if we want approximate matches, and we don't we want an exact match, so we're going to put in here false. And close parentheses. And now we have to put an alternative in on the if statement. And that will be that we just put a null in that space, in that cell. And then we'll close the parentheses for the if statement. And if uh, this is all set up correctly, this should give us a lamp description, which we pulled in from that external file. And we're just going to copy one of the description formula down here a ways. So now if we look at any of these cells, we see that same uh, formula. Of course, the reference that is the cell references uh, changes as we uh, copy it down the page. And finally, uh, lamps for fixture is something that uh, will that'll be data input to put into this table. And in this case, uh, I'm just going to put some sample data in there. So we're done with uh, using the lamp list. And so here we have uh, our table. I'm going to go in here and uh, 
can put some sample data. You know, as each time that I do that, it picks up an app description. It's from a file that's not uh, even open uh, right now. Okay, now um, just to extend uh, the area we have to work in this fixture schedule, so I'm going to take this on um, this line. I've got uh, my conditional uh, or my uh, data validation in here, which you can see from that arrow showing up. And I've got uh, formula in here, and that's for my uh, lamp description. Now I'm going to go and uh, just uh, drag this down a little bit so that I end up with uh, some additional uh, blank cells in this fixture table. And that would be the way we could just uh, do this. Uh, let me add about 50 here. Formula shows up all the way down to the last one. Now I'm going to select uh, this uh, area. And I'm just going to format it a little bit. This gives me the idea that uh, we put something in here. Uh, and it's about um, how far we're going to take it right now in this part of the video. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at putting another table in that's going to use information on this one. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.